we see a minor infusion reaction, which is self-limited in 1% of patients. I'm not lying. I've given about 100,000 doses since 1981. I've never seen anaphylaxis, not once. And the reason that there is a perception of anaphylaxis with any kind of frequency with intravenous iron is that doctors pre-medicate with Benadryl, even though we have pleaded with them in maybe a hundred publications and in up to date not to do it. Benadryl causes somnolence, tachycardia, diaphoresis, and hypotension. Serious adverse events are vanishingly rare and that the one marker for an increased likelihood of an adverse event is pre-medication with Benadryl. Now let's take somebody with this minor reaction. Patient sitting comfortably about 30 seconds after the iron's given the flushing occurs and there's pressure in the chest, might be some anxiety, but there's no strider, wheezing, periorbital edema or shock. <clears throat> Goes away in about three minutes without treatment. We almost always rechallenge. it almost never recurs. But let's take the converse. Let's say you have this reaction and you give Benadryl and epinephrine. Now it doesn't go away in three minutes. Now you have tachycardia, diaphoresis, hypotension, chest pain, ischemia, and potentially shock. Hmm. 911 is called, diagnosis of anaphylaxis is made. When it's not anaphylaxis, you almost never get tryptase levels because people don't do them. I've done tryptase levels on 300 of those reactions. Hmm. I've never seen a positive, never. And the iron gets blinked. And that harmless hmm. reaction, you just saw was what's called the fishbane reaction. So I'm telling you unqualifiedly that the huge preponderance of ostensible serious adverse events with intravenous iron are due to the inappropriate intervention with vasopressin and antihistamines for minor infusion reactions. But when you see the reaction, and it occurs, take your own pulse, mm -hmm. chill, tell the patient to relax. Sometimes the reaction's nasty. Sometimes they get frightened, warn them in advance. It goes away. You learned when you were in med school, you did both of you that IV iron's dangerous. They taught you that. Hopefully we'll debunk it with the things that we're publishing and with the education sessions that we're doing and showing this infusion reaction and how not to overreact, but the folklore continues.